Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Friday. That means another promotion in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. We've known for the last couple days this is coming, and it is here today. Team of the group stage. We've got these three cards on the loading screen. We've got predictions to talk about, and the PlayStation servers are down right now for me. So, actually, you won't see me on the console at all in this video. It's going to be web app and footbin entirely, because <laughs> I cannot get on the game right now. It is what it is. But... We move on. So this is the promotion that is coming today. I want to talk about market movements we might see, content we might see, and who are these cards, what kind of stuff could EA drop today as well in the game. So first of all, a lot of people have tried to decipher who this loading screen is. This is, in my opinion, what I agree with the most. This is a prediction by Foot Eagle. I think it's Messi, De Bruyne, and Rashford. And of course, if they're putting these three guys on the front loading screen, this gives the promotion potential that we maybe didn't think that it had before. Because in vi yesterday's video, and a lot of people have been saying this, I said that uh, this is not looking really good for Team of the Group Stage. It does not look really good for the team. Last year's Team of the Group Stage squad was awesome, right? Mbappe, Son, Lewandowski, De Bruyne, Salah, even the defenders. Ramos, Koulibaly with Messi in there too. Um, this year, it's definitely not looking as quality. And... Um, but with this loading screen, it looks to be Messi, De Bruyne, and Rashford. Some people were saying Dybala. Some people were saying that the Rashford card on the left, this one right here, could actually be Timo Werner. That's a possibility as well. Uh, but I think EA is going to go all out here today. I think they're going to go all out. They're going to give us the good cards and uh, hopefully have a solid side. Now, one question that I do have about today is... Are we going to get a full squad of cards like we did last year or are we just going to get 11? Because I don't know if this promotion is going to be a one week or two week promo with foot miss and with icon swaps possibly on the horizon next week. Some people are saying icon swaps could come today. That is possible. I'm more expecting that next week though. But depending on if we get a full team of 11 today with these players or if we get even uh, or more than 11. Like last year, we had a, more than 11 players in packs. We had the whole 11 plus the bench and a few cards in reserves too. So if we get more than 11 cards in packs today, that would make me think it's a one-week promo. If it's 11 cards in total, maybe a two-week promo. I think they could do a two-week promo. They could make it work, uh, but we'll see what they do end up doing. Also, I want to make this known to all of you guys. These cards, right? The card designs were dropped again tonight. These are not live items. Please be reminded these are not live, all right? Only Road to the Finals are the live items. But EA did drop, or sorry, not EA. Footwatch found these cards in the code. These are the official designs uh, of the Europa League and the Champions League team of the group stage cards. And they also dropped these in the code tonight. I think these, um, since the Libertadores SBCs uh, are expiring or just expired, I'm not entirely sure uh, if they've already expired or if they're up, if they're expiring. Th I think they already expired. The Economy Bowl, Sudamerica, and Libertadores SBCs did expire. I think they're going to get re-released with these cards actually giving out a player reward for those SBCs. I think that's what we're actually going to see with these two new card designs for uh, Sudamerica or for Economy Bowl, Sudamerica and Libertadores. I do think we will see those today. Maybe not today, but they will be re-released soon. But since they were put into pack code tonight, probably today. So that's sort of the content I think we're going to see today. Of course, alongside with a new team in packs with these cards, I do expect to see an SBC and possibly an objective card as well. They've been dropping a lot of objectives lately. We had the new Eredivisie Foundation objectives yesterday. I would expect another type of objective player for a team of the group stage card today um, alongside of an SBC because usually day one promo on the Friday, they drop the SBC and an objective for a new promo card. That is usually what we do see. So of course, cards and packs and those two different areas, uh, objectives, and SBCs. What other content could we see today? I mentioned the possible re-release of the Economy Bowl, Sudamerica, and Libertadores League SBCs. If you guys know cards that went up a lot for that before, there should be more demand for those SBCs this time around if you actually get a player at the end. That's something to kind of consider. And also, this is a uh, totally just a design. This has not been released yet, but a Joao Felix Player of the Month could be coming today as well. And that would be juicy. Of course, this card would look saucy with a plus three upgrade from his 84 inform because he gets a double upgrade for a player of the month. 
since he's lower rated. That could be really awesome today. So watch out for this as well. It's a big day in FIFA Alden team. It really is a big day. A lot of content that could be coming out. Um, some people were also mentioning like a mid icon SBC because uh, I think the base icons expire pretty soon. Base icon upgrade expires in 14 hours. I think that's the first one. Yeah, 14 hours for that base icon and then three days for this base icon. So that's gonna be interesting to kind of watch today and see if we get any more icon related content. If we even get more icon SBCs, I don't think I'd really expect that, but I guess it is possible. Could be a big day. It really could be a big day uh, on the foot market and on the game. So let's kind of transition to talking about the market, right? One thing we've mentioned with these cards, team of the group stages from last year was they were so heavily, heavily supplied in this game. They were like eight, nine, 10% pack weight. And on top of that, we had Messi player of the month looming last year. It wasn't Joao Felix like it is this year. It was Messi. First ever player of the month SBC came out last year. And that was impacting the market a lot as well. But there were such great cards and they had such a high drop rate that it made a lot of people still sell things last year to go buy these new cards that were a lot cheaper. And um, they wanted to upgrade their teams with these cards right after Black Friday where a lot of people put FIFA points on. So we're going to see landing rounds again this weekend. I obviously don't know what EA is going to do with the new team of the group stage cards, what their pack weight is going to be. But I'll tell you one thing, since we've got a, a Susie, uh, er, Susie, Englishman, we've got a saucy looking loading screen in front of us already. I do expect to see some panic selling today on the market. We've already seen a little bit in the high tier golds like Neymar is down to 962. He's just been dropping all day. I do expect to see more panic selling throughout the rest of the market. If you take a look at some of these team of the weeks, especially guys that are in that front loading screen like Messi, right? This Messi card's 1.1 mil, 990 on the Xbox. He dropped a lot today when the loading screen came out. He was 1.2 on the PlayStation, 1.1 on the Xbox and dropped down to uh, almost 100,000 coins on uh, both consoles because there was people that saw the loading screen. They said, hey, this looks like Messi to me. So they sold their cards because they thought a new one is coming. Now, one thing with Messi is he was in best of team of the week, but he's a very rare card. So if you want this for your team, watch the panic selling this morning because I don't think a new Messi card, even if it's 95 rated, it's got a cool design. It's probably gonna be over 2 million coins first day off the rip. I mean, how much was this messy first day in packs? He was about two mil. I would expect, since that was even before Black Friday, I would expect this messy with the cool design and 95 rated to be a little bit more expensive. Probably, you know, 2.5 mil, maybe just throwing a price out in there. Uh, day one, maybe even more expensive, but probably somewhere on the 2.5 mil range. So um, I would expect that card to be pretty expensive today. So just kind of keep an eye out for the panic selling on this messy. Uh, because if it gets too low, then it should bounce back. Same thing with some of these other cards too, right? Let's let's talk about Rashford. If Rashford is actually getting in today, he's got a, a road to the final card and an inform. Now this inform was in best of team of the week. He was 670 during that time frame, and now he's rebounded to 720. This guy's got a lot of supply, so we're really gonna have to be careful on Rashford. If this ends up being Timo Werner, then the Rashford card could bounce back pretty nicely, uh, especially. This one, because this is the one that a lot of people like to use. That's a situation you want to keep your eyes on as well. And for all the other panic that could be seen across the market today, as we normally say on a promo Friday, if there's nothing coming out that's going to be a repeatable, like a base icon or another mid icon SBC that is really going to make the market tank, which I don't feel like we're going to be getting that today since a lot of that stuff has already come out, right? We have a, we have two or one base icon SBC that will be available through this time frame. I feel like today, if there's a big time panic in the market on icons, out of pack special cards, and even some gold cards, right? You're really, really meta gold cards like we bought last week on the Black Friday time period. Rashford could be going out of packs. I bought the Suns last week. I bought Joe Gomez. Joe Gomez is 70K. He was 65K midweek. If you see a lot of panic selling on these cards in the morning, that could be a huge time to buy. Pogba as well with all the French links that have gone on recently. And how can you tell if it's actually panic selling or if something else is going on? Let's look at Pogba for an example. If you're on the game this morning, right? 
Obviously, you know it's part of it is panic selling when you see the price going down on a card like Pogba. If you wake up or if you're watching this video and we're three or four hours ahead of the content drop and Paul Pogba is 150K on the PlayStation, he's dropped to his price that he was before rewards. That means people are panic selling this card, right? 150K for Pogba would be like a situation where I'm like, okay, I'm looking at that card. One way to really know though and really cement that it is panic selling is to look at the cards that are popping up at the 59th minute. If there's constant undercutting and on those cards that are being undercut, they're not first owner, right? If they have chemistry styles, even after 6 p.m. UK, you're still gonna see some people that maybe say, hey, I need to go sell my cards to go do this new SBC that came out. If there's any sort of panic like that, watch for all the listings at the 59th minute because all of them or a lot of them will have chemistry styles because that is a real, really true way to notice panic selling is because people are just literally selling their teams. They're literally just selling your teams as another way around is when you get a pack supply SBC or even tomorrow when you see the lightning rounds come out, you'll see a lot more of the cards that have fresh chem styles pop up at the 59th minute because people are packing them. So just watch out for the panic selling on a lot of these cards today. Meta golds, informs, just kind of remind yourself and remember which cards are rare. And of course, if we're getting a lot of Premier League players, uh, we're, we've been talking about Rashford and De Bruyne, two Premier League players that a lot of people in this game would want to use on the loading screen. You know, maybe you take a look at some of the higher tier um, Prem players in this game, right? Like Rule Breaker Pugba, if you're on a high budget, this Rule Breaker Pugba card keeps going higher and higher. 1.2 mil, 1.2 mil for this guy. And he was 900K below 900k when he was in packs. Um, keep an eye on this Pogba card, man. Keep an eye on this Pogba. If you would drop down to like the 1.1 range, this is kind of like the same situation as the Rule Breakers Harry Kane. Uh, just a very rare card that is very high in value that a lot of people like to use. And take notice of stuff that rose after rewards day, right? Laporte went from 530 last night up to 580. He's 565. If you'd see him at like 530, 540 in the morning today, that could be a huge huge buy. Cards that went up a lot today at rewards, if they come back down, that's a huge opportunity to get in on some of those. Um, you know, Lukaku 345, Royce is kind of chilling around the same mark. Of course, we're kind of, you know, curious about Royce and about Sancho because of the potential for Holland to get in, right? Sancho right now is 316,000 coins. He was pretty low today as a lot of these record breakers didn't move, uh, which was very interesting on the market. A lot of these guys did not move except for Vardy. Vardy was one that actually went up. So just kind of watch the prices on these cards today. If there is panic selling in the morning, I think that you don't have to be afraid. I think you can get involved with it, especially if it is on some of these like really meta top tier, very usable icons, even like a petite, right? This guy has got some more demand recently because he's French. He links a lot of those French cards like Alessandrini, who's in an off league, but a lot of people like to do him linking a lot of players like that together, right? Makalele, 800K. If you see this guy back down towards like the 800 lows, that could be a big time situation. This Bruno Fernandez was on stream just a little bit ago, 630K. He's now back to 660. I was wondering if there's panic selling happening on this because of him possibly getting into team of the group stage. So that's something you could look out for as well. If a card's getting panic sold um, because of possibly getting into team of the group stage, that's something to keep an eye on. And then one thing to watch out for today too is over investing. A lot of people have bought in to this Carrasco inform because of his links to the potential player of the month. Again, Joao Felix that we talked about coming today as well. So just be careful with some of these cards that are over invested in that are very up in price. Carrasco right there for 37K with a Hunter. I can probably flip that for like 40K. So I'm going to send that to my transfer list and flip that uh, tonight. A little, um, a little cross go with a hunter for like one, two K profit. Uh, just waiting for that Joao Felix to come out. But um, if you did, do have any Thursday flips left, which I do, I've got some gold suns. I got my, my Dumfries, man. My Dumfries are finally going to go up. Um, and this is one thing I want to mention too, because I want you guys to watch Dumfries over the weekend, uh, this weekend, because nobody's doing objectives when it comes to weekend league time, right? When it's weekend time, you know, everybody's playing the weekend league. Nobody is doing objectives. But when Monday comes around, when Tuesday comes around, you see a lot of objective cards go back up. We've seen this specifically with a guy named Opara. 
uh, for the past couple of weeks. Opara drops down th three, four, five thousand coins on the weekend, and then rises up in the midweek because people are doing the MLS squad foundations. The same thing is going to happen here with Dumfries, right? He went from like. 18k today up to almost 30 and is now back down to 2022 if this guy's at 20,000 coins on either console i think he's a bit more inflated on the xbox but if you see him get kind of low again today i bought another one at 20,000 coins today with a shadow because i know that when this ends when the week starts the weekend is over people are done playing the foot champs and the week starts and people have time to grind those objectives you're going to see a card like this go back up in price um that also reminds me of quincy promes Ajax, of course, are not looking too good in the Champions League in terms of progressing. This guy is up like 40,000 coins today because purely of the links between all of those Eredivisie new Squad Foundations cards, I would take the cash on this. I really would because I think his card's going to drop because I don't think that Ajax are going to make it through to the next round of Champions League, to the knockout rounds. And that means his card will not get upgraded until uh, if they continue winning in the Europa League, if they get third place in their group. So that's one thing about promos I wanted to mention. Uh, and I think I kind of covered it all today, boys. There's a lot to cover. Again, a lot of p possible content today with objectives, with SBCs, cards in packs. Again, if we do get these new economy bulk items um, as, a, as a league SPC returning as well with the items available. Again, Jao Felix player of the month. There is an outside shot of icon swaps, but I feel like they can't do all of that in one weekend. I feel like they, that's got to wait just a little bit. And then of course, we'll be watching the panic selling. And I think today, the fourth is actually like the first official day of the next gen. So there's probably going to be some next gen sort of content today as well. That's going to be kind of interesting to see what happens with that. And then we do have David Beckham icon cards coming into packs today as well. So seriously, today on FIFA is a huge day. It's also like a qualifier weekend too. Like there's a pro event this weekend. There's a lot of stuff going on, man. New icons in packs, um, next gen stuff happening, team of the group stage cards in packs, objectives, SBCs, player of the month cards possibly icon swaps i feel like icon swaps has to wait because there's just so much going on and you know ea might want to save that for next week but uh yeah boys a lot of stuff going on this week watch for the panic selling again this morning especially on some of those meta informs that we always like to watch and like to look at i do think they are going to get flipped uh and they are going to be moving in price i wish i could have done this video on the playstation 4 but there's a menu thing that popped up and said that the psn servers are down ea had issues earlier tonight with matchmaking this is FIFA, man. It's kind of a mess right now. It is what it is. Hopefully, it's a smooth Friday, though, with Team of the Group Sage being here today in PAX. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.